Hello and welcome. Amigos, I can't stop making this incredibly easy and delicious dish. Everyone in your house is gonna absolutely love this, but I really do hope that you like this as much as I do. In this bowl, I have some chopped pork butt in nice big chunks. And if you don't have pork butt, you can use whatever pieces of pork you have that have a lot of the fat on it. That's what we want for this particular recipe. Take your salt and sprinkle it in your bowl. Add some chili powder, and today I'm using guajillo chili powder, black pepper, onion powder, ground cumin, and some Mexican oregano. Combine all your ingredients and make sure that your pork is coated with all of the seasonings. Once your seasoning is well combined, you're gonna add your olive oil. Give that a good mix. And you wanna set this to the side for 15 minutes. You'll also need white onion, red and green bell pepper, cilantro, and a lot of garlic, and I'm just gonna slice it in chunks. That means they're really thick. <laughs> just like that. Mm. Oh, that makes you happy. Yes. I knew it. And this is optional, but Cloud loves it when these little tomatoes burst in her mouth, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are gonna be using these little tiny tomatoes, but if you have Roma or whatever tomatoes you have at home, they will work for this recipe. Set your burner on a medium heat, and allow it to warm up for three minutes. Once your pan is heated up, go ahead and start adding your pieces of pork. That smells so good. Ooh. Now whatever you do, do not move this for the next four minutes. After four minutes, you're gonna add your garlic, just sprinkle it in, and we're gonna mix this around. Oh, what a beautiful sear. You see what happens when we don't move and move our meat? <laughs> it's a valuable lesson I have learned. Me too, but sometimes I do push it and I'm trying to get things done quick, but it's worth waiting and not overcrowding and let it happen, you know? Right. So once you mix everything, you're gonna to continue to cook on a medium heat for four more minutes. I have some chicken broth and I'm gonna be adding some lemon to it, okay? After four minutes, we're gonna add our chicken broth and lemon mixture. Place your burner on a low heat and we're gonna to continue to cook for 25 minutes. And after 25 to 30 minutes, you want your sauce to get to that point right there. Can you guys see that? Where it's almost gone, but it's still there? You see it. Perfect, so that should take you anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. When you get to that place, you're gonna start adding your onions. And our juicy tomatoes. You love juicy tomatoes, let us know in the comments. Cloud would love to respond to you. <laughs> And go ahead and mix all your ingredients well. And you see how just a little bit of the sauce that we have left coats your onions perfectly. So when they soften up, they're gonna be well seasoned as well. Now I'm gonna continue to cook on a medium heat for three to four minutes. And after about four minutes, now we're gonna add our green and red bell peppers. Now let's give this a quick mix. I'm really feeling this dish today. <laughs> I'm feeling <You know>, yummy. <laughs> I can't stop making it. Every time I make it, I just want to eat more of it. It has just a well-balanced part to it that just with the pork, it's, it's out of this world. The other thing I like about this dish is that it doesn't feel too heavy after you eat it. Even if you eat it with rice, it feels really light. I feel like such a ballerina after I eat this. Yeah, yeah, you have a good amount of vegetation in there. Yeah. Go ahead and turn your burner off. And you're going to sprinkle your cilantro. Give that a quick mix again. Ooh, 
Oh my goodness, look at that. That glossy onion right there. Ooh. Well, there's going to be some on there and it's going to coat your rice beautifully. And that rice is made to perfection. Just the way you like it, sis. Just the way I trained you. <laughs> <laughs> you really did. <laughs> Set your Instant Pot on saute and add a little bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil today. Allow your oil to heat up in your pressure cooker for about three minutes. Add your rice. And today I'm using basmati rice. Your favorite, Cloud. My personal favorite, especially Ooh. when it all lands in the pot. Yes, okay, you got jokes today. <laughs> sprinkle it in, sprinkle it in. Once you combine all your rice into your oil, we're gonna be here and lightly toasting our rice. We do not want it to that golden color. Just a nice little toasty look to it. That should take you about three minutes. Once you've slightly toasted your rice, you're gonna add your water. Lemon juice. Go ahead and stir. And make sure all your rice is underneath that water. Seal the deal. And we are just gonna place this on our rice setting. Once your rice is ready, you wanna allow it to stay in there until the pin drops on its own. Fluff up your rice. That's gonna allow some of that steam to release. And you wanna add your cilantro. And boom, done. Cilantro lime rice in your pressure cooker. I've added some purple pickled onions and red radishes, and now it's time for us to take a delicious taste. Say, ah. I hope you got a juicy tomato in there. Not yet, but I will. Buen provecho. Mmm. <laughs> mm. The tomato did it. It's that magical. The combination is amazing. I really love dishes like this that keep you engaged because I want to just hop everywhere and just keep eating. The pork is so soft and juicy. Every bite has flavor, right? Good job on this creation, girl. I love it. Mm. Bring some more recipes out of the vault. I see all those notebooks in your room. I don't think anybody wants to see my creations. Oh no, don't start. No, not, not right now. You're loved, you're appreciated. We want these secret recipes out. Everything's <laughs> already been done. It's just a way of transforming them and I am really good at transforming them and creating them. Mm -hmm. If you don't release those recipes, girl, I'm gonna sell them on eBay, those books. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And we wanna give a special shout out to all of our silent viewers and also our subscribers that have gone missing. If you guys see them, let them know that we're still uploading recipes for you guys. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios. What do you mean missing? Can you come back and explain? <laughs> Really, I don't know where you guys went. I, you asked me for recipes, I posted them, I didn't see you respond. So now I'm making what I want. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> no, but seriously, we do miss some of you. We, we know life gets busy, but we do miss you. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about a lot of people that I haven't seen, so if you guys see them, let them know that. I'm still here, Cloud is still here, and we're still hungry. That's correct.